Hi friends, in the first video of the world map, we have seen the important seas, oceans, straits, the islands in those uh, oceans as well as the countries that border those seas. As I told you in the first class that in the UPSC prelims examination every year, around 5 to 6 questions are coming from the world map as well as the India map, which accounts for almost 10 marks. So you see, 10 marks is actually a major difference in the prelims examination, particularly for students who want to crack the forest service, this actually is more important. So as a part of this world map from Sarath Chandra IS Academy, we have collected the important places that have come in the news in the last one year and based on that we are making these classes. So in this second class, we will be looking at the international organizations, summits, the regional blocks and other areas which have come in the news. So, the first region, the first region, let's look at the Asia, actually ASEAN, Association of Southeast Asian Nations and ASEAN is a group of 10 countries that lie on the southeastern side of the Asia. So what type of questions can we expect from ASEAN? See, as ASEAN is in use continuously for different reasons, for RCEP and for other reasons, the possible questions from the world map point of view would be name the countries that are near to the equator or which of the following countries through which the topic of cancer passes or they can, they can ask you the capitals and ask you to arrange the capitals from north to south means they will give you uh, four to five capitals of ASEAN countries and ask you to arrange from west to east and they can even ask you which of the following countries share a coast with the Pacific Ocean which of the following the Indian Ocean so these type of questions can come so when you look at the ASEAN in the world map you should have a rough idea of which oceans touching it, what is the placement of their capitals, etc. So now let, let, let us look at some of those questions. See, initially, equator. This is the equator, the line here, equator. Equator is passing through only the Indonesia, only Indonesian islands among the 10 ASEAN countries. If you look at Tropic of Cancer, see here, it passes only through the Myanmar, Myanmar. It does not pass through any other ASEAN country. Similarly, see here, as I have asked you, the border, the border with. They will ask you how many country, how many ASEAN countries share a border with the China. Which are those countries? For example, uh, Myanmar has a border with China, Laos has, and Vietnam has. No other ASEAN country has a border with China. Similarly, they can ask you, they can give you some four to five countries and ask you which of these share a boundary with Vietnam. For example, with Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia are the only two countries that share a border. And with Thailand, if you see, only Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia and here Malaysia. So like that, you have to focus on the which countries share border with which other countries. And also, they will ask you to arrange the capitals in order. Capitals. Let us look at the capitals. For example, Myanmar here, see, the Naipida is the capital of Myanmar. For Vietnam, it's Hanoi. For Laos, it's Vientiane. For Thailand is Bangkok, Bangkok, Cambodia, Phnom Penh and Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur here and for Bruni, Bandar Seri Bhagawan here, for Philippines, Manila is here and for Indonesia, Jakarta. So if they ask, if they give some four or five of these capitals and ask you to arrange from west to east, you may have to observe accordingly. So please make a note of these capitals in the west to east and also direction and try to remember them or visualize them in the map. For example, north to south if you observe, Hanoi is the northernmost point, then comes Naipita, then Vientiane, then Manila, then Bangkok, then Cambodia, then Bandar Seri Bhagawan, then Kuala Lumpur and then Indonesia. Similarly, west to east also you can arrange accordingly. Then, for example, they ask you the ocean coast. See, some of the ASEAN countries share the coast both with Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean, whereas some share only with the Pacific and some only with the Indian. Let us see that. For example, Myanmar has coast only with the Indian Ocean, all this coast, only the Indian Ocean. Whereas Thailand, on this side with the Indian Ocean, on this side with the Pacific Ocean. Similarly, Malaysia, Malaysia on this side with the Indian Ocean and all this is the Pacific Ocean. Similarly, Indonesia, on this side, this side is Indian Ocean and all the other islands are with Pacific Ocean. Philippines, only Pacific Ocean. Cambodia, only Pacific Ocean. Vietnam also only South China Sea, I mean the Pacific Ocean. So, like that, you should visualize, understand which of the ASEAN countries share with Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean. Then, 
the see look at the countries for example some some possible questions can be which of the asian countries have greater longitudinal extent i mean if you look at the longitudinal wise which country is wider obviously indonesia indonesia starts from here and ends here so indonesia has the largest longitudinal extent similarly they may give some three or four countries the four options and ask which of them have greater latitudinal extent latitudinal means vertical extent and uh, see the two other countries which are not part of asean but uh, near to the asian islands which also lie on the southeastern side of asia one is timor leste here other is papua new guinea so try to remember the placement of these two and uh, for example timor leste shares shares uh, you know the coast with indian ocean see this is all indian ocean is all indian ocean so it has coast indian ocean and also this is all pacific ocean the boys pacific ocean so it has a coast with both of them whereas papua new guinea on this side this side only pacific ocean so let's move on east asian summit see asean countries the 10 regional members is actually a strongest group both economic political as well as security wise it's a strong group they mostly discuss the trade and economics and asean also discusses with some other countries in the form of other summits for example asean plus 6 asean plus 8 and uh, asian regional forum some 28 countries like that for example here east asia summit the east asia summit is a group of asean plus eight other countries the india china on the this side the usa and russia and uh, new zealand and australia and you see that um, uh, the eastern countries japan and south korea so these eight countries along with uh, asean form east asian summit so you identify their capitals also and try to arrange them within the order and see which coast they are sharing and which country has a border with which, which other country like that then the rcep see regional comprehensive economic partnership is in news because as you know um, uh, china china has a means china has a greater manufacturing base because of which china can produce goods for lower cost and if india signs rcep china will be able to dump their goods into india easily which will affect the indian manufacturers that is why india withdrew from rcep recently some 4 to 5 months back hence rcep is in news so rcep is actually asean plus six other countries the china and uh, india the japan and south korea and australia new zealand so these are these actually are negotiating the rcep so you put in this context and just like how we discussed with the asean the border countries coast capitals directions in the same way you disc, you look in look at the other countries also same way the asian regional forum as i told you along with the asean plus six you have canada eu and some other countries like you see here papua new guinea timor leste sri lanka bangladesh north korea mongolia and pakistan try to look at their placement with respect to the asean now some of the questions here as i prepared uh, which of these following asean countries has great longitudinal extent we discussed this already and arrange the following cities of asean from north to south we discussed already which of the following asean country near to equator near to equator see here thailand thailand see uh, be careful to understand till where a country extends for example look at this map thailand some people think thailand actually stops here but no thailand has a tail tail type of structure thailand actually extends till here see till here thailand extends so when you look at equator nearest to equator after malaysia thailand actually thailand is nearest to equator only after that you have the vietnam after vietnam you have here myanmar even myanmar has a tail like structure till here so if if you ask you cambodia and myanmar actually myanmar is closer to the equator so out of the given options thailand is the closest thailand is the closest thailand which of the following countries have share border with china see again as i told you for example only myanmar laos and vietnam only three countries share border with china we discussed that and which of the following countries have a coast with indian ocean we discussed it so this is a broader view a map of the southeast asian countries Uh, with respect to china india other countries now opec see organization of petroleum export countries they are actually a group of countries whose economies mainly depend on the exporting of oil they produce the oil and they supply it to other countries so they opec as a group will decide how much oil to be produced how much to be supplied so that depending on that the cost of the oil can be regulated 
so opec countries are in the news mainly because of the fluctuation in the oil prices if you see opec countries most of the opec countries are in the african continent see here the african continent and in the north america no country is there in south american continent you have only two countries the equator and venezuela and in asia as you see saudi arabia iraq iran kuwait and uae are the only countries so if they have to ask you a question from world map point of view they will be asking which of the opec countries how many opec countries share border with the atlantic ocean the atlantic ocean as you see only the nigeria equatorial guinea gabon republic congo and angola and venezuela share the atlantic ocean and how many pacific ocean see here the equator the pacific ocean and no other kind of pacific ocean so like that like that the, the questions can come or um, which of the which are the countries that share border with iraq this kind of questions can come opec plus countries means see not only opec countries but there are many other countries who also export the oil but they are not members opec all such countries are called as opec plus countries for example mexico here in asia the in africa the sudan south sudan in asia bahrain oman kazakhstan russia malaysia brunei these are the countries that are members of that we call as opec plus countries now see here which of the following does not lie on the equator see equator lies on the equator gabon lies on the equator republic of congo also lies on the equator whereas nigeria does not lie on the equator so questions can be like that or which of the following opec countries do not have a with atlantic ocean we discussed it we have seen which have coast atlantic ocean which of the following continents have more countries in opec africa we have seen it africa has more countries as opec members the next one this is about g7820 see the g8 countries are once upon a time the most powerful economies in the world means if you observe the, um, in the european countries the four powerful european countries the france germany uk italy and then the, the north american countries of canada uh, usa and then the russia and japan the, the towards the asia so they are the g8 countries however in 2014 when russia annexed the crimean peninsula of ukraine russia was expelled from g8 now we call it as g7 however g7 does not represent the true economic powers of the present generation because the brics countries are becoming powerful the brazil russia india russia is all powerful the brazil uh, and india china south africa they are emerging countries so hence we formed g20 countries g20 means g8 g7 along with that the brics countries and some more countries so you should have an idea of this g20 countries and you should look at which countries are occupying which coast pacific atlantic coast and the placement of their capitals etc for example see here is the map of g20 so how many countries in g20 uh, have a coast with pacific ocean if you see the canada the usa mexico with pacific ocean mexico and here the australia the indonesia south korea japan china and russia these countries have with pacific ocean similar atlantic ocean how many g20 countries have a coast atlantic ocean if you observe the again the canada usa mexico brazil argentina in the in the uh, european countries the france and germany and uh, the uk all three have the coast atlantic ocean only italy actually is in mediterranean sea similarly here russia actual russia has a coast with atlantic ocean if you see observe carefully here this area this area the, the through the baltic through the baltic it actually shares a coast with atlantic ocean actual russia shares coast with atlantic ocean pacific ocean and arctic sea in the first video we have seen the important seas around russia for example the white sea the barents sea and the baltic sea the caspian sea the black sea and the aral sea we have seen these around russia you should actually make a note of them so in this format questions can come from the g20 countries from the world map point of view the arctic council see this image this image actually taken from the north pole from the top of the north pole if you look at the arctic sea the countries around the arctic sea as you can see russia has the longest coast arctic sea russia then finland sweden norway then iceland then greenland a part of denmark greenland then canada and usa so the, all these countries which has a coast with arctic sea they formed the arctic council along with other arctic uh, the commun local communities indigenous habitats habitats all these people formed as a council 
to protect the Arctic Council, to protect the Arctic Sea. Because Arctic Sea was very pristine, but now it is opening up, possibly due to global warming. And the ships of Russia and China are actually entering into Arctic Sea to break the ice. And it is said that Arctic Sea has huge resources of oil and gas. So there is a chance of exploitation of Arctic Sea. Hence, Arctic Council is trying to protect the pristine waters of Arctic. And it is in the news recently because that uh, China, China actually has become more powerful in breaking the ice in the Arctic Sea than Russia. Due to that reason, it has come in the news. And if you look at the map in a horizontal way, see these are the countries. Actually, USA touches the Arctic Sea through Alaska, the state of Alaska. This is Alaska. And then the Canada, Canada, uh, and then Greenland, Denmark, not Denmark, Iceland, the Arctic Sea, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and then the Russia are the uh, members of Arctic Council. And if you observe here, the Svalbard, Svalbard is a part of a part of Norway. Generally, uh, some questions can be, which of these countries are closer to the North Pole, close to the North Pole. For example, if you observe, generally we think that uh, Norway stops here, but Norway is still here. So, you can look at a map in that, that perspective. Now, SAR countries. See, SAR is generally in the news every year because Within the point of India, perspective of India, Sark is the most important regional bloc. However, due to Pakistan, Sark is unable to realize most of its goals. See, South Asian Association of Regional Cooperation, Sark. The possible map-based questions in this are, let us see them. One is, arrange the capitals of Sark from west to east. They will give you some four to five cities in these countries and ask you westernmost, easternmost, or from north to south like that. For example, see. Look at Afghanistan, Kabul, Pakistan, Istanbul, sorry, Islamabad, sorry, Istanbul is Turkey, uh, Afghanistan, Kabul, Pakistan, Islamabad, uh, India, New Delhi, Nepal, Kathmandu, Bhutan, Thimpu, Bangladesh, Dhaka, and here Sri Lanka, below Colombo, Maldives, Malay. So these countries are uh, members of SARC. Now if you have to arrange them from west to east, the westernmost is Kabul, then Islamabad, then Delhi, no, Kabul, then Malay here, see here Malay. Kabul, then Mali, then Islamabad, then Delhi, then Colombo, then Kathmandu, then Thimpu, then Dhaka, west to east. Similarly, north to south, if you observe, first is Kabul, then Islamabad, then see, then Delhi and Thimpu and Kathmandu actually, but this actually cannot be visualized very easily. And UPSC, they will not ask you those places which cannot be visualized very easily. The most questions they ask generally can be uh, can be answered by a rough visualization of the world map. So west to east, if they ask you west to east, they may not uh, give Mali in the options. If they ask you north to south, they don't ask you Kabul, Istanbul, Delhi, Colombo and Mali. They may not bring in these two places. Similarly, other, other possible questions of SARC is border length with each country. So you should be able to arrange the length of the border shared by the SAR countries with India. For example, the longest border is shared by Bangladesh first. Because Bangladesh on all sides, see, see here, all the sides Bangladesh shares with India. Except the Bay of Bengal side. So Bangladesh has the lengthiest border with India. Second is China. Because China, if you observe, right from Kashmir starts. See, this map is actually wrong. The map should be like, the map should be like this. In this map, they actually they have left the Gilgit Baltistan, which is a part of India, but claimed by Pakistan, and they left the Aksai chain, which is also part of India, but claimed by China, and they also left the Ajat Kashmir, which is also part of India. So the map should be like this. I this is the map. So sorry for this uh, wrong map of India. Anyhow, so here, as you observe here, uh, the border length the highest is Bangladesh, second is China, because China starts from here, it's all the way. And again Arunachal Pradesh. So China has a till here, till here. From here the Myanmar starts. Second is China. Third is Pakistan. Because Pakistan also has a very lengthy border. Through till the Gujarat. From Jammu, Kashmir till the Gujarat. Then comes the Nepal border. The fourth longest. Then the Bhutan border. So these are the length of the borders. They can ask you to arrange them. Uh, based on the length of the borders. And also other possible questions are. See here. What are the bordering states? For example, how many states? They can ask you. If you see Pakistan, see this Pakistan. How many states are bordering Pakistan? Right now, Jammu and Kashmir is a union territory. So you may not count that as a state. Other states are Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat. So three states. 
three states border uh, uh, Pakistan. Similarly, if you look at uh, Nepal, Nepal again five states. The Uttarakhand, Nepal five states of India border with Nepal. The Uttarakhand, the Uttar Pradesh, the Bihar, the green color, West Bengal and Sikkim. Similarly, if you look at the Bhutan, Bhutan has four states bordering India. One is Sikkim, then West Bengal, then Assam and Arunachal Pradesh, four. Similarly, Bangladesh, Bangladesh also, West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya and Tripura, as you see, four states, Bangladesh also, four states. So, like that you should have an idea of how many states of India share border with the SAR countries, SAR countries. See, Myanmar is not a part of SAR, but let us just look at how many states are bordering with Myanmar. Uh, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram, again four. So four is like a common number for most of the countries surrounding the India through the land border. And see, other possible questions can be, if you have to come from Nepal to Bangladesh through India, minimum how many states you have to cross? For example, see, here, Nepal, this is Bangladesh, you can directly come through, directly you can come through West Bengal, just one state. For example, if you have to come from Bhutan to India, how many states you have to cross through? Just one state, same, either West Bengal or Assam. So these kind of questions can come. For example, if you have to come from, uh, if you have to move from Myanmar to Nepal through India, how many states you have to cross through? Or if you have to come from Pakistan to Nepal through India, how many states you have to cross through? So look at these kind of questions. Because these are the type of questions generally favored by UPSC. And UPSC asked them, recently also they asked a question, to come from uh, Assam to Kerala, how many states you have to cross through? Not Assam, I think from Nagaland to Kerala, how many states you have to cross through. So look at these kind of things. Then, then uh, BIMSTEC, see actually BIMSTEC is Bay of Bengal initiative for multi-sectoral, technical and technological and economic cooperation. So BIMSTEC actually focuses on securing the Bay of Bengal. And BIMSTEC is very important strategically for India to protect the Bay of Bengal from uh, countries from other areas coming in occupying Bay of Bengal. It means strategically to have a uh, good control over the Bay of Bengal, BIMSTEC is important. And the BIMSTEC countries, except Nepal, see, Nepal and Bhutan, though they do not have a border with uh, Bay of Bengal, they can come through India, so they are members. All the other countries, for example, the India, the Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Sri Lanka, they are all share the coast with Bay of Bengal. So here the possible questions are, arrange these countries from the longest coastline with the Bay of Bengal. Undoubtedly, India, India has the longest coastline and then Myanmar, see this tail. If you forget this tail of Myanmar, then it appears as a short only, short coast. But because this tail, Myanmar has the second longest coast with the Bay of Bengal. Third comes the Thailand and then the Bangladesh, among these four countries. But Sri Lanka also has a bigger coast because it has all side coast with the Bay of Bengal. I mean, this is, this is the Bay of Bengal, below is Indian Ocean. So, you should have an idea, rough idea of the length of the coast. Uh, of these countries with the seas. Then, for example, latitudinal. For example, recently one of the questions asked by UPSC is in a longitude uh, along with Bengaluru in India, which other place, they are given four options, which other place are closest to the longitude of, Bang of uh, Bengaluru? For example, see this is Bangalore. Bangalore. If you draw the longitude like this, longitude, so I could not draw straight, actually, it should be straight. See straight. So they asked which city is closest to that longitude. Like that, general idea of the latitude longitude is important. In India, you may remember most of the cities, but from other countries, general UPS will ask only the capital cities of other countries. For example, they can ask you along the latitude on which Dhaka lies, which city of India is closer. For example, this is Dhaka. Dhaka, Dhaka is actually on the tropic of, near to tropic of cancer. So, Along the say tropic cancer, which other cities will lie? Instead of asking tropic of cancer, they can ask you which of the following cities of India lie on a latitude similar to Dhaka or nearest to Dhaka. The possible answers are, you know, Bhopal, Ahmedabad, Jamshedpur. The options they may give is they'll give Bhopal, then they give Lucknow, then Hyderabad, something they give like that, and you have to identify accordingly. So they may even ask you, this is another capital, Laipita. Laipita is the capital of Burma. So. Along the latitude of Naipida, which place lies? For example, Mumbai and Pune. At Mumbai and Pune. The options can be Mumbai, Hyderabad, Vijayawada, and maybe Nagpur. They can ask you like that. Similarly, they can ask you like Bangkok. For example, in the same latitude of Bangkok, which it is like. Actually, Bengaluru and Chennai are closer to that. 
so they can ask you whether uh, Bangalore or they can ask you indoor Bhopal like that accordingly you, sh you should be able to answer the question then BBIN see the Bhutan Bangladesh India Nepal all these four countries are trying to form a corridor for uh, easy access from one country to another through the land through the motor motor vehicles through motor vehicles so this transportation is being encouraged and funded and supported by the Asian Development Bank hence it has been news now these questions just to pause here look at these questions I have discussed these questions indirectly through the uh, class so pause them and answer them these questions also pause them and answer them okay for example yeah I have discussed them already now BRICS countries see BRICS countries also the possible questions are again the capital for example Brazil Brasilia is capital South America three capitals are there but let's say the Cape Town capital and here India Delhi China east side Bangkok is I mean uh, Beijing is here on the east side Russia Moscow is here so from west to east if you arrange Brasilia first then Cape Cape then the uh, you know the uh, Moscow then Delhi then the Beijing north to south also you can arrange accordingly in the BRICS countries and also size by area can be asked generally if you look at the size uh, China Russia is the number one the largest in size number two is China number three is Brazil number four is India uh, then the seas around the Russia seas around the China can be asked in the first video I discussed about the seas that are bordering the China and Russia you can go back and see that video similarly the Gulf Cooperation Council see the Gulf Cooperation Council is important and these countries are all along the Arabian Peninsula the possible questions are see I have discussed here arrange the capitals from west to east and uh, which country has a coast from Gulf of Oman and Persian Gulf Cap see capitals means here the Riyadh, the Kuwait, the Manama, Doha, Abu Dhabi Muscat are the capitals west to east if you arrange Riyadh, then Kuwait, then Manama, then Doha, Abu Dhabi and Muscat similarly you can arrange from north to south also and the coast for example the Gulf of Oman is shared only by the country of Oman and the country of UAE only these two countries actually share a border with the Oman similarly if you look at the Persian Gulf the countries are Kuwait, the Saudi Arabia, the Bahrain, the Qatar and UAE share with Persian Gulf and Baba al Mandab Strait, Baba al Mandab Strait I discussed is along the UAE which of, which of the following countries are along the Baba al Mandab the answer is UAE so this kind of questions can actually come from the Gulf Cooperation Council NATO. <clears throat> so NATO regarding this the see as you know this is the 2019 was the 70th year of NATO which was formed in 1949 during the Cold War time mainly to stop the spread of Soviet Union and its influence over the Eastern Europe. See the, the USA, uh, Canada, Turkey only these three countries are outside the Europe all other countries of NATO are the European countries mostly Eastern European countries are there in NATO and uh, once in every three four years there will be a debate discussion on is NATO relevant presently uh, because you know now USSR is not there Soviet is not there however some actually say that NATO even now is relevant so due to these reasons it has come in the news so if the questions have to come from the world map point of view regarding NATO the possible questions can be see if observe here Russia what are the countries of Europe that border the Russia for example see Norway Norway actually uh, border Russia generally we have to remember that Norway is not just here it comes to here Norway so Norway is a border then Finland is a border then Estonia, Latvia, Belarus, Ukraine these are the European Eastern European countries which are which share border with Russia of course the uh, Norway is not the Eastern European country, it is a part of the Northern Europe, the Scandinavian countries, but it is borders the uh, Russia. Similarly, Ukraine, as Russia Ukraine conflict is ongoing, the borders of Ukraine can be asked which countries share borders of Ukraine. If you see in the map, if this is Ukraine, the countries that share borders with Ukraine are, are, see from here, the Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovenia, Hungary, Romania, Macedonia these countries are there and Black Sea which countries here world Black Sea we discussed in the previous class about the seas Black Sea, Azov Sea and if it is a Baltic Sea which countries of the Europe share post with the Baltic Sea and the Barent Sea and the Gulf of Bothnia between which two countries which we discussed which we discussed in the previous class you can go back and see that in the part one of the world map so these are the possible questions in the, from the NATO 
world map point of view then shanghai cooperation organization actually shanghai cooperation organization was formed initially to curb the terrorism along the borders of china and russia and central asia uh, later on pakistan india became members of it out of the five central asian countries only turkmenistan is not member of it remaining countries kazakhstan the uzbekistan the kyrgyzstan and tajikistan are members of it along with china russia india and pakistan so the possible questions in this are they can ask you the to array they will give important cities the capitals in these places and ask ask you to arrange the west to east north to south or they can give you the seas for example the caspian sea which central asian countries have border with caspian sea if you look at the map here only the kazakhstan and turkmenistan are the only two central asian countries having border with caspian and uh, among the seo members russia russia have a coast with caspian similarly the oral sea between the kazakhstan and uzbekistan daral oral sea then uh, see they can ask you uh, the borders of china the borders of russia which country share border with uh, uh, china among central asian countries which can they share for example the kazakhstan the kyrgyzstan the tajikistan all three countries all the central asian countries out of five share border with the china so this kind of questions can come look at the membership here just make a note of uh, there are some observer states and dialogue partners but the most important are the membership member states only then for example i told you uh, the capitals we see uh, for kazakhstan capital astana for kyrgyzstan it is bishkek and for tajikistan is dushanbe uzbekistan is tashkent turkmenistan is ashgabad if you have to arrange them from west to east it will be ashgabad first west then astana you know then the tashkent then dushanbe then bishkek north south also we see astana then bishkek then uh, tashkent then dushanbe then ashgabad north south so you can put this put them in the perspective along with the capital of beijing i mean the capital of china the beijing or moscow and then you can try to arrange them accordingly then ecowas the economic community of west african states has been loose it's very important mostly if in the india map the upsc is focusing mostly on the northeast asia i mean uh, northeastern india northeastern india northeastern states because northeastern states do not come much in the newspapers that's why they want to focus more on that one because mostly uh, the, the people most of the indians do not actually bother about the northeast that's why even now it is government is focusing more northeast up is always focus on that one similarly among the continents in the world african continent is uh, least looked at that's why upsc may ask questions on the african countries also particularly india has huge interest in africa that's why questions may come particularly ecowas ecowas india has cultural character with the ecowas the west african countries so but however in order to buy heart all the capitals of these this west african countries just make a note of the placement of the country which are along the atlantic ocean and uh, the the arrangement which are to the north to the south etc for example if you look at the map the ecowas countries actually lie between the atlantic ocean and the sahara desert sahara desert and the countries which share the uh, coast with atlantic ocean make a note for example see mali has no coast niger has no coast you know burkina faso has no coast atlantic ocean make a note of those kind of points then the quad countries the quad countries actually has uh, yes, been the news because china china uh, do not want the quad countries to stay as a group because china feels the quad countries as a threat to the strategic interests of china however quad group is very important for india india uh, for the overall strategic reasons so if you look at the quad countries see the capital arranging capitals is difficult for example look at the usa the washington is here capital india delhi you know where it is japan tokyo is here tokyo australia the canberra is here if you are arranging them from north to south it is difficult actually between the washington and tokyo it is difficult to know north and south upsc may not ask such questions generally washington is the northernmost then tokyo then comes the delhi and then australia west to east also the confusion between the japan and australia but uh, tokyo is to the west and canberra is to the east these are the possible questions then so generally upsc if it has to ask any place from a country it will be capitals however if there are some other places which have come in the news for some strong reasons they may ask for example previous year one of the previous is paper they gave four cities four places and four countries and asked uh, the students to arrange match them they have given a place in afghanistan which were attacked by taliban they gave a place in syria 
which were attacked by ISIS and they gave place to Iraq like that. Similarly, for example, let us look at some important places that have come in the news. Regarding the, in the Russia, two places that are the Sarklain and then the Vladivostok come in the news because they are the liquefied natural gas plants through which the Siberian gas pipeline was laid, was laid from where China actually takes the gas. It is a it is a highly beneficial step for China because now China can get the gas for very low cost for its energy requirements. And uh, see, uh, this is Amur River. Amur River. This pipeline passes through Amur River. And also, if you look at, if you follow this pipeline to China, it actually touches the delta of the Yangtze River. Also, Amur River is on the border of China and Russia. Then Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, Farah may come because Farah is actually controlled by the Taliban. Even Ghazni is controlled by Taliban. So this place may come. And in, in Saudi Arabia, because of the drone attack, actually this drone attack happened on two places which are previously not very famous, but now as they are in the news, they may ask the Quraysh and Upquake. Quraysh and Upquake are the two places in Saudi Arabia where they have oil facilities, oil installations are there. And these two were attacked by the, see here, the Houthi movement in the Yemen. Actually, Yemen civil war is going on, you know, very well. And Saudi Arabia has stakes in the Yemen, in the Yemen civil war. Due to the Saudi Arabia's interference civil war, the Houthi group in the Yemen claimed that they attacked the uh, oil installations in Saudi Arabia. However, it was said that these uh, drones are manufactured in Iran, but we have to see it. So these two places are in the news. Similarly, uh, if you look at the, the other place in the news, one is the Golan Heights. Golan Heights belonged to Syria previously, but after the six day war or seven day war that happened in 1967, uh, Israel occupied the Golan Heights. And Golan Heights is an important place in the West Asia because it is bordering countries of Lebanon, Syria, Israel, and Jordan. And Sea of Galilee is important, which is between Israel and the uh, Golan Heights. It's also called as Golan. Golan. And other important places in news are one is Nahariyam and then Zofar. These two previously belonged to Jordan. In 1994, Jordan actually gave these two places as a lease to Israel and Israel farmers are cultivating the land there. But recently, Jordan said that they want to stop this lease and they want to take it back. And recently, some two, three months back also, Jordan made statements that they would not allow the Israeli farmers to come into these places. Hence, they have been in news. So they may, the questions can be, Nahariyam and Zofar are the places between which two countries. The answer is Israel and Jordan. So these type of questions can come. Can come. So, so yes, friends. So these are some of the places based on international organizations and summits and places. So in the next video, we will look at the important volcanoes, islands, the ports, corridors that have come in the news. And according to you also, as you come across some places, as you read Hindu newspaper or some other newspaper, you just make a note of them and look at those places, understand those places in this perfect view. Means no need to buy hard every place that comes in news, only those places that are really important and which have been quite in the news for quite some time. Those places you just make a note and read in this direction. Thank you.